All right, part two. I'm back. We are going to get this done, so let's continue. I'm seven in the top view. Uh, it's looking a little rounded up here, and that's just not part of the form. Now, fortunately for me, I actually have the system too, so I'm looking at uh, reference images, and I'm looking at like a controller. So I have a pretty good idea what I need to be doing here. Now, what you're seeing here is I just selected the top verts and all the way to right here. Now, when you crease it in corners, uh, sometimes it doesn't straighten it out to the sharp angle that you'd like. So then you need to select these little, um, I guess these kind of are the supporting ones of these. So you would want to stiffen those up and it gets a much sharper shape out of it. Like we take a look at this and it's looking pretty good already. Now this next part we are going to select this edge. Well pretty much the same edge as we creased except for that edge. Press B, middle mouse button, unselect it. That's one of the most useful things I think I've learned in Blender. Um, so we're going to make that little lip in the front. We got to bluff it. Easy. All right, it's going to just go there. We're going to pull that out and shift E. We're going to select these, shift E. And just put that there. And since this is new geometry, we just hit say uh, shit shade smooth and that'll update it now hopefully I can show you all some pretty uh, cool stuff with the compositing because this whole time that I haven't been uh, you know making tuts and all that I've been polishing 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 um, this one we're actually going to put 2.5 wait shift E negative 0.5 so it's kind of smooth, kind of not. Let's go on the top view. We got to do the same thing uh, with the front here. So let's go ahead and do that. But first things first, we got to bring down this part. And this will add a lot of form to it real fast. We'll select all these here and we're just going to easy here or actually we're going to do it about here and then we're going to do it again and take it all the way down to here and that should do it for now for that we uh, take a look at our form and it's still coming together fairly well we're going to hit file save as plus it by one and smooth it again and let's continue um, select this for this for E Y mean edge edge sorry I'm telling you I'm pretty tired and I'm still wanting to make a tutorial like I decided I was going to practice a little bit for this one because I don't feel the last ones may have been my best you know that I could have done. Now, right here, we're going to 
take this for and merge it with that one. So merge it last and we're going to temporarily hit this eye, turn off mirror and merge this with this alt M merge it last I think one two three and shading smooth and that is something I think I might allow do. Let's see, is that my best that I could do for this? I should just control R at a loop cut, selecting these two, make a face. And that at least got rid of the quads. Um still looks a little rough. Let's select these two, crease them, select that, crease it. Select this one, crease it. Select that, crease. Alright, I think that might actually straighten it out a little bit. There we go. And I just creased some random lines until it began making sense. I got some nice little lines going here. <sighs> Whatever case, let's continue. I'm only six minutes into part two, and we're making some major leeway. Mm. We're going to go back to this one. And, or actually, we'll just go back to default. Um, let's finish this up. Or, let's continue. Easy. Put it there. G Y. <clears throat> we'll turn off this again so it doesn't get messy. And we'll go ahead and go into vertex mode. Select this. Merge it with this. Merge Alt M at last. Delete that. And it looks like the same thing again. We'll just go in vertex mode. Hold Alt click. Hold Shift click. F. That's done. select these and shift E you know a lot like we did the other side alright let's see what we got here alright I think that looks pretty good like I said, we are a little pressed for time, so it's not like we can do some sculpting and all of that, even though that would be fun too. Alright, now we got this here. Easy. Uh, GZ. It's snapping sometimes, it's just a little weird. G, Y. There we go, got it. All right, now we got that there. Now all we gotta do is, actually before it hits the bottom, we gotta easy and actually bring it down over this lip 
and drag that in actually a little more and I think that'll give us a little more of the shape we may not have had before. It's really the minor details that make these models we do fit our counterparts that we're trying to you know pay homage to. I figured I'd be spending most of this in silence. I'm surprised I have so much to say. Clear out that one. And we're going to easy bring that down. And just drag that down. We'll sort that out later. And from here, we're going to go to save as and jump up to four. These files are only in the kilobytes because I'm not attaching like references or anything. So, um, I shouldn't have too much to worry about. Um, however, you can stick with the same file if you'd like. I just really like the choice of going back generations especially if there's a possibility that I may have made a mistake now from here the part that we're going to be doing is the little area for the L and R keys so let me show you all how I did it um, hold alt click just get them all E Y click. Um, I wish I could say done. I wish I could, but I can't. We got to middle mouse remove these from the selection so it's only the side S Y zero and then move this up. We're going to just start creasing it because it's looking like it's uh, not stiff enough. We'll just crease all these. Um, shift. Actually, we don't have to shift them all by one. I mean, crease them all by one. We'll just. Point 0.5 should do. Mm, everything's got to be so extreme, you know. Uh, let's just try point five. All right. So what do you think so far? Not too impressive. Mm, it will when we put those sticks in there. So let's go ahead and give it some form. Then let's go ahead and give it the sticks. The sticks will add a lot of credibility to it. So here's a little trick I like to use when placing stuff. Uh, sorry about that. I moved pretty fast, so let me back up. Um, I am selecting this object, tabbing in the edit mode, and selecting this ring of verts. Shift S, cursor selected to put my cursor there. Now I have my cursor where I want it. Um, you know, I don't know how other people navigate around the interface to get where they need to get to. But usually I can use, I use like medium points between objects and um, just, you know, things in the geometry that um, seem like it'd be a good vantage point. Now, I'm not sure how other people do it. just thought it'd be interesting to share. So I'm going down and adding a sphere here. Uh, we're going to go into wireframe mode and... So clear that out. Select vertex. Select the top vertex. Remove that. We're going to actually control R, put a loop cut there so we can select this and delete it. Now we're going to move it up. E, move it up again. E, move it up. S to scale. 
you move it up. Easy. done here and you're just extruding it up and scaling it to fit like the basic shape like you can't always get um, E W merge at center you can't always find what you're looking for as far as like um, reference images like you can't always trust them 100% of the time Sometimes you gotta just eyeball it. In fact, a lot of times you just gotta eyeball it. All right. And I'm just scaling it up. It looks like I may have done it a little bigger than that uh, than two. So I'm just trying to fit it up now. That's close enough. Let's select this. Select this ring of verts. Easy. We'll just bring it down. Can select this. Select this. Can or uh, you know, select the stick, select uh your controller, then press Control J in that order, and it'll merge them, and thus putting it on the mirror and part of this big object. So save as. Plus now we're on to part six. Uh, we're 16 minutes into this part, so let's continue. Now from here, what we probably want to do is start making the uh, controller handles that'll start adding a lot more credibility to it um, we'll select it one two three four nine forty five sixty two and just extrude it out shift s grab this for or actually just grab them all. Move that one down there. Move that one down there. And you're just trying to shape these in the best way to get a way that it covers the handles. Now, like I said, I have actually have the controller just sitting here in my lap, so I'm just looking at it as I'm going um, y'all probably would need more reference images um, so in that aspect mm, sorry guys but get a controller or just get some reference images there's lots of them on there I was just having problems finding a blueprint for a second I'm telling you I actually had to restart a video because it took me like 10 minutes to find a picture again I guess there's a big difference between PS3 and PlayStation and Google as far as searching goes. Now we got this shape created. Let's go down in the side view. And we're just going to drag it down. And now we're going to select this. Or we're going to select one, two, three, four, this, this. Go down here. Choose O for proportional, G, C. And we're going to roll our mouse back and just pull them down along the Z to get a more, you know, look at that. The form is already starting to come together. It's just refining and all of that that we're lacking. Uh, we'll all right. Oh, O to turn it off. O to also turn it on. Like I said, um, I'm going a lot faster because this really is a kind of workflow related one. Like just maybe get your brain started. I know, I know from time to time I definitely lose 
all inspiration altogether and can't make a single thing for days and then all of a sudden he'll just come back and the only way to tell if it's happened is if I'm pretty much ignoring you or just am too busy or something then yeah it means my inspiration came back now that one may not have worked right I mean, it worked well um, for this lower one we probably want to undo that maybe add another loop cut here remove that vert alright let's see what we can work with that one two three F for that one, 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 two, three, four. Let's see how that goes. Then one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three. Here's four. Now, like I said, this right here is just where it starts getting a little crazy because I can't tell you exactly how to get the topology for it. I could just only really show you enough to get you an idea of how to go about getting the look that you're going for which is to look I suppose like the actual controller and it's definitely not through uh, let's see how do we get this I'm just undoing it all because we were so good there for a sec you know what we'll get out of uh, edit mode undo from here ooh damn oh no <laughs> alright um, yeah let's just start over all of a sudden um, so we're just going to select this, this, boy my screen is distorting, the computer is obviously getting hot now too, so it may be time for a break. Um, not, not deemed by me, my computer tells me when it's time, so I quit using me. So I'm just uh, going to drag these out. Now you may see my screen like looking really tripped out. I'm telling you a Mac, this Mac is a rotten apple. It's a very rotten apple. Alright. We're gonna save that and not do that yet. Now we're going to go ahead and go underneath and remember grab these two on the ends. Or wait, we got to put it in position first. So select the whole edge with Alt G Z. Drag it down. Drag it down like right there. Then select one, two, Three, four. O, G, Z. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just about like that. Now we're going to save that so we don't undo that again. That's kind of bad to do. Now for this shape right here, we're going to need to hmm, do a little thinking here. Can't just blindly, well, I mean, I guess we can. 
O X Just put one there. Um, go back down. We'll put another loop here. Hmm, maybe we can do this in a logical way instead of having to get all crazy with it. All right. Dang, this thing ain't even merged with it anymore. To mix, merge that back. Getting it all out, off of, um, out of where it's supposed to be. And so we'll end this at part seven and pick up on the next video. One moment.